Dinesh Katecha is one of a small group of people around the world to receive a very new kind of therapy. I'm suffering since the last four years on my left hand side. It's all the time shaking and day by day it's getting worse. I can't hold the book, n newspaper or anything. It's and like a shaking all the time and it's uh, difficult to handle this. When Dad had this issue at the beginning, he got referred to the doctor quite a few times and they tried a quite a lot of medicines which didn't unfortunately have any effect. It was very difficult for him to lead a daily life. Things like making a cup of tea, drinking a glass of water started becoming really, really difficult because the Crazy. shake in his hand was really bad. Daily things like driving and then like making a cup of tea. So sometimes, you know, he if he was on his own at home, he couldn't have a cup of tea, or eating or carrying anything. It was hard for him. At first, his GP didn't know what this was. He gave me a very strong medicine to control this, my second hand. But uh, day by day, it's increased my dose. But that medicine never helped me at all. And also, it's getting worse and worse instead of getting better. Uh, I can't help to my wife for housekeeping things, ironing and that. It's, it was a nightmare for me. When we got the letter, uh, we were a bit sceptical as to how this will work because only a few patients had actually had it done in the UK. So my father was the fourth to have it done. Um, so we, th we ha had a look through it and we thought, OK, it's non-invasive. So we thought, why don't we just give it a try? I want you to try and drink from this cup using your left hand. There you go. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. That's, enough. that's, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so that, the idea of today's procedure is to try and stop this happening. You okay? So you came all the way from Israel? Yes. yes. That's nice of you. She's the only one who understands this machine. Without help. Thank you. So, okay. okay, you got it? Okay. Yeah. So these are local anesthetic, okay? You one prick and the idea is to numb the place where the screws go in. Oh. It hurt for a bit, but then settle down. They put a clamp on his head, which was really painful for him. So it's quite difficult to see him in so much pain and he was already feeling like he didn't want to do the treatment because it was so much pain he couldn't bear with it. In 10 minutes you won't feel that tightness at all. You just get used to it. You'll go numb, sir. You have a blanket. Feeling cold? Yeah. Blanket or he kept calm, they gave him some painkillers and then he was fine to go ahead but initially he just didn't want the treatment done because he was in so much pain. <laughs> <laughs> just hold your hand up like that. And now just hold your hand here. Uh, just bring your elbow up a bit. That's great. And just hold it there. And now just touch my finger. The diagnosis is a central tremor, which is distinct from Parkinson's disease. And the specialists here at St Mary's in London hope to solve the problem for Dinesh using an innovative and non-invasive technique. That's very good. And stop that. That's very good. So this shows the tremor very nicely. It also actually shows the axis of the tremor. So you can see that the spikes are really pointing in that plane. You're going to wear this. The idea is the water will be held under this, okay? Well, I can see you. Oh, yeah, you can see. Of course you can see. So this is Mexican in some ways. <laughs> yeah, actually it is. <laughs> Half cut sombrero. <laughs> the magnetic resonance imaging machine, the MRI, will be used to guide beams of ultrasound waves into Dinesh's brain. We're in the final process of setting up the machinery. So the membrane has now been attached to the transducer and the dead space between the membrane and the transducer will be filled with cooling water which will circulate around keeping the skull cool throughout the whole procedure. The area to be treated is very consistent between patients. 
um, it's called the nucleus ventralis intermedius and it's more or less the same for virtually all patients. But to make sure that that is the right place, we use low power sonications initially which are entirely reversible in their effect on the tissue but we can see their reversible effect on the patient's tremor. So we utilize low power until we get an appropriate amelioration of the symptoms. Once we've seen that, we can go up to a higher power and do an irreversible lesion in the correct place. But it's all done by clinical um, feedback from the reversible sonications. We've got the patient in the scanner and we are about to start scanning through the brain to work out the coordinates that we're going to set to hit the right spot. He has a button with him that can stop the whole procedure at any time. So what we're doing at the moment is measuring the exact position that we're going to go for our first lesion. This is the target that we are going for. That's our first, that will be our first low power sonication. So there you've got the temperature reader <coughs> down here. So we've produced a temperature of 40 degrees. Which is like tickling. You're also trying to make sure that the spot is hitting the exact correct area that we are intending with this process. So it's analogous to bombing a site in a city. If you want to hit a particular target, you want to minimize the collateral damage around the target. And so we're trying to tighten up the accuracy of the lesion without it spreading out to other areas of the brain that we don't want it to get to. Just once again, just hold that hand down. So every five to six minutes they keep bringing me out from the machine and the doctor was checking everything is fine, nothing, anything damage or bleeding or anything. Uh, five to six minutes every in and out was going. What has happened is we're still in our early verification process but the temperatures rose quite substantially. His brain is obviously responding very rapidly to the heating and even in this very early stage we're already getting some response. Once we are confident here that we have machine and target absolutely aligned, we will take the power up in this position because it already has had some effect in this position and we will see what we get with a higher power at this position. So we were quite nervous but I think the team were amazing. They kept us updated like every 10 minutes. They allowed us to come in if we wanted to. So how does it feel seeing your dad in there? A... I think the outcome that we're expecting, hopefully if it goes that way, is going to be amazing, like it'll improve his lifestyle yeah. really well. Because yeah. right now at home he really struggles. Yeah. Um, and even socially it's quite yeah. difficult for him. Yeah. That's one of the problems with tremor. Even if it's not that disabling, that it causes a lot of social handicap. Absolutely, does, you know, yeah. And people become very reclusive. That's it. Yeah. We are still at a relatively low level, but the result is very acceptable for our first sonication. There, there you can see the difference from the original spiral and this current one which shows a hugely smoother um, outline in comparison to the previous one. A 90% improvement already with a relatively low power. So we're now going to go for a permanent ablation at this site using a power. That is to say we will use powers that will take the temperature to over 55 degrees for one second which we know will cook tissues permanently. Up to now the changes have been largely reversible. When he actually drew the spiral initially when he had the tremor it was actually next to impossible to draw the spiral and there were quite large spikes and as they were doing the treatment within about 20 minutes he had to draw the spiral again and the amount of spikes that were there had reduced by half. Further into the treatment he kept doing that and finally once the treatment was finished the circle spiral was actually near enough perfect and seeing his tremor going from 100% to literally 0% and that was actually a miracle. So this is a high power one. We're using 7,800 joules. And here we have the temperature coming up. 55 degrees average, peak of 58. <coughs> so this will be a permanent ablation at that site. So 95% blown away, no side effects. Was, was that the permanent? I would be tempted to hit it again. Hit it again. 
Um, because I, we're in such a good situation. Yeah. It's like a batsman on 198. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. We, we need, this is the chance to get 200, 300. So what, what have we got up to in terms of jewels, guys? At 11,000. 11,000, wow. Okay, that should. This will light up a house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That should cook him properly. But one can see that there's a quite marked improvement in the tremor. The, the big jagged parts of the tremor have now disappeared. It's really amazing, can't believe how quickly the symptoms are reduced. It's amazing, yeah. Much better than the other arm now. <laughs> oh, so far it's amazing. I'm speechless, like, the tremor is reduced significantly. Um, I didn't expect it to be that good. So he's able to draw the spiral, he's able to drink. Amazing. We got high temperatures in that last one and we want to make sure that if we were to do any more, we would not be doing too much. So we're going to do a conventional brain image to look at the size of the lesion. It's that, isn't it? It's not too bad. You can see where it is. So all we are checking for now is side effects. Because tremor you probably won't see much effect in the But so this is really the main part of the spiral and you can see it's actually even better than it was previously. So it looks like this is actually improving it further. Brilliant job. You're happy Mr. Kutacha? You're fantastic. Come and have a sit on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Look, yeah, just small ones. Very well done. I've got thank more you. here. Take some rest. I'd like more. to say thank you to everybody. <laughs> How are you feeling? Are you feeling okay? Really? Yeah. yeah. All right there? Yeah. Very good. Very good. Well done. Yeah. That was a bit emotional, wasn't it? Yeah. It amazes me, let alone you. You know, it really does. Absolutely incredible. Thank you. Yeah. Just beams of energy. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. And it's good to have your family around as well, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That looks good. <laughs> Just hold your hand up straight. Wow. And spread the fingers around. And now just like this, just by my just like that. I'll go like that. Brilliant. And touch my finger. And now your nose. And now my finger. Okay. Here's a little bit of water. See if you can drink that with your left hand. Tiny little bit of tremor. Very good. That's fine. Brilliant. Thank you very much. At the moment, funny enough, the tremor's at its worst because you're emotional. Mm -hmm. So when you're relaxed at home, it's going to be even less. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I'm very pleased. You've come out of the operation. Mm -hmm. There's no bad effect. And I would say the tremor's virtually gone. You know, there's a, perhaps a tiny bit there, but compared to where we were before, it's much, much better. Isn't it? Yeah. Thank okay. you. Very Thank good. You very well done. Thank, Thank you so much, much for everything. It's been no amazing. problem at all. Really, really Thanks appreciate for helping it. Yeah. It's really good. Thank, Thank you so you. much. It's been amazing. Okay. Really worth it. Life changing. Life changing. Were you alright? Really? Were you okay in the machine? That was scary. It, it was wasn't as bad as you thought it would be. And then afterwards, you're relaxed, isn't it? Just the initial period. And it was quick. So Peter, a wonderful result in this patient. Um, where would you rank this type of procedure in the sort of advances in neurology and neurosurgery? I think it's a huge advance in neurosurgery in that for the first time we're operating in the middle of the brain just using our ultrasound beams. In, in the past, in order to do this type of surgery, it would be necessary to put a probe deep into the brain with very serious risks involved. And, and presumably this type of procedure is going to lead to a huge reduction in overall costs for these types of therapies. Yeah, I mean, I think realistically this will move to an outpatient only procedure. And so now we're able to do brain surgery in the middle of the brain in outpatients, which is quite incredible. Um, as an outpatient, you know, stunning. My hand was 
perfectly all right and uh, it wasn't shaking at all after treatment my hands is all stand still i can do anything and it's improved my quality life he can do all normal things which i'm really really pleased about life is back to normal like he can do things by himself making cups of tea helping me with the housework driving social life has improved helping in shopping <laughs> <laughs> I feel very lucky. Very lucky and um, it's completely magic. Initially we were quite afraid to go ahead yes. with it because we knew nothing about this treatment. And we was worried okay, what's going to happen, what, what the will risks be the consequence of the side effect, but there is no side effect at all and um, no open surgery. Mm. It's instant. Instant recovery. And instant result. Yeah. Instant uh, result as well. Especially after all the medical treatment that didn't work, he left like he was left with no other choice apart from going with this treatment, which had very low risk. So it seemed best thing to do at that time. And we really hope that other patients can see this and not be afraid and to see a live example. And if they are for the treatment and hopefully it goes into the NHS, they actually take it on board and do it as opposed to having medicines with side effects and other invasive surgery.